time on streaming services doubled. Well, Joshua Rom is a film and television critic and a broadcaster. And uh, well, are you as surprised as many seem to be by these figures? Uh, Simon, quite frankly, I'm really not surprised. Ironically, more people than ever may see the awards this year. This was the first time, really, that the Daytime Emmy Awards had this massive drawing power. And I think, you know, due to the COVID-19 crisis and the fact of this kind of new way of presentation, I think that's why the audiences have come really flocking in to see, you know, to see the awards given out to the soaps and the talk shows. I'm looking at the supporting actress category and I had to think I had to look twice because I'm I, I thought am I is, is this the Oscars here am I doing a double take because you've got the likes of Laura Dern you've got the likes of Meryl Streep you've got the likes of Helena Bottom Carter you've got the likes of Tandy Newton I'm like these are huge huge film but stars you know, I... and especially with kind of everything that's going on how important is it to remind uh, you know the world of this story at the time that James Madison was living, I would have been considered three-fifths of a person, I think. I wouldn't have been considered an actual person. So when doing the show, I had to bring myself in it and make a statement saying like, we're whole people. <laughs> Black people are entire. They're five-fifths of people. And it's the streaming services that have done particularly well. Netflix is um, under £10 a month. Disney Plus is under £10 a month. Um, they're very easily accessible as well to the average viewer. And again, because of the coronavirus, people that would usually lead active lifestyles are being forced by the government to stay at home. The fact that Disney is a massive, well-established brand was, of course, going to bring people in wanting to maybe re-watch a classic if they're feeling nostalgic and what's so brilliant about it as well it's it's got that kind of light airy feel as Ray Fiennes is walking through the beautiful lobby but it's also got that tense that intensity that dramatic that kind of somber tones as well running through the movie for those kind of tense melodic sort of scenes amazing i mean it's it, it you've sold it all of this josh comes at a time when tv in particular daytime telly is really being affected hasn't it by covid19 because simply you can't film or if you are filming you've got to do it at a social distance yeah, absolutely. I mean, I know for a fact The View, they've had uh, two or three co-hosts in the studio, all at a distance at the desk. They've had no audience. Um, and one of the hosts has been kind of uh, broadcasting from home. Uh, the same as kind of loose women in this country as well. But I want to defend Greece too. And here's the reason. Because I will fully concede that as a sequel, it was rubbish. Dreadful. Cool Ride is quite a good song. But I was gonna say, as its own standalone film, I thought it's brilliant. There is that kind of nostalgic aspect where we've all grown up listening to their music. And I'm gonna be honest, in terms of their tracks, as you said earlier, it is hit after hit after hit. And to get a sneak peek into these celebrities' front rooms. I know they look fabulous, don't they? <laughs> Great to talk to you, and we got it. You like Disney. They've done well. Thank you very much. Hollywood's next for you. Josh Rom talks radio's entertainment correspondent. And I could see you mouthing away there, Josh Rom. I wasn't just mouthing away. I was doing a full-on, <laughs> full-blown lip sync. <laughs>